Hey, welcome back, everyone. Mike Schultz with you once again, live broadcasting from the Ice Park. And tonight we're here with uh, a couple of people that make uh, an opportunity for you by going on the website to see just exactly what's going on at the Ice Park. I'm here with Yelena Petkova and uh, Steve Irison. And you you guys have been the videographers for quite a while for the uh, the uh, Ice Park here, right? We have. I've been here for four years. Steve's been here for longer. Yeah. I started out as a photographer 18 years ago and just kind of... <laughs> made my way through the uh, the maze of Ice Alaska to be the videographer and uh, producer. Now, if you go to the website, you can see all their, their work, and it really is a good way to, to get an idea of what's happening. In fact, we have some video to uh, show you while we're talking to show you what their website is like. The, web, web, uh, the, the website is icealaska.com, and here's some of the video they shot. Uh, this was yesterday when the, uh, the carvers actually started uh, opening up the uh, first day of carving, right, Steve? Yeah, this is uh, interesting to watch, too, because you get to see some of the secrets of, uh, of ice sculpting, the way they use their templates and the way they start visualizing what's going to be inside. Elena, you see you've been doing this for five years. I, I'm sure you're just still amazed every year at how, how great the, uh, the, uh, the, the actually art of art of the ice is, is itself. I get really excited, and it, I learn a lot every year, so. Yeah. Once again, it's icealaska.com, and you can go there and you can see all the different things that are going on. You guys do all you can to keep people updated. Yeah, we, uh, we try to put out something every night. And during the multi-block, we're going to be streaming a show live every night at 8 o'clock. So if you go to our website, you'll see that too. Including the awards uh, celebration itself too, right? Right. We, yeah, we, we do that live too. Okay, well, guys, thanks a lot for being with us, and uh, carry on. Do a great job, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the website. All right, thanks, Mike. Thank okay. <laughs> okay, now it's time to talk some weather, and what can we say? But today was a beautiful day, lots of sunshine. It's going to be that way again tomorrow. And speaking of the weather, here's what we're going to be talking about tonight. We've got uh, quite a few things to, uh, to inform you about. First of all, we are looking at, once again, another beautiful evening. And uh, maybe even some auroras. In fact, uh, the opportunity for auroras uh, is possible around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Steve said he saw some beautiful ones this morning. And maybe some warming by the weekend. Uh, we'll talk more about that later on in the weather. And speaking of what's going on in the satellite picture, we'll take a look at that and show you that we're looking at more clouds moving out from the south. That may be an, an omen of things like the, uh, the old high pressure that's been sitting over us is starting to break down. Should be allowing more clouds and moisture in the, the uh, picture. And the overall picture of the state looks like this. Again, there's more rain falling across southeast Alaska. As you can see, temperatures are really, once again, very warm. 46 degrees at Ketchikan. 41 at Anchorage today with partly cloudy skies. A little cooler at Kodiak, 38. And uh, Cold Bay also 38 degrees. Uh, you jump over the Aleutian chain, you go to Bethel, where it's 38. And 28 degrees at Nome. Barrow at 9 degrees below zero, dropping down in the cold air again. And Fort Yukon at 21. Lower 48 weather, more activity moving across the central and eastern plains. Look at the storms uh, moving across with that area of low pressure across the uh, Great Lakes, bringing with it some scattered thunderstorm activity. A new system moving across the Pacific Northwest, bringing some activity there. In fact, uh, as you can see here on our next our graphic, where you can see they're looking at a, another frontal boundary moving on shore in the Pacific Northwest, bringing rain and wind once again all up and down the West Coast and mountain snow showers. And the overall outlook for the uh, five-day, or actually into the weekend, for the uh, jet stream, again, way up to the uh, north on the western side of the country and down to the south uh, on the eastern side, which means warmer temperatures to the west, cooler to the northeast. Okay, time once again for our kids' weather. And this week, we are talking with the kids from Ann Ween Elementary School. And tonight, we have a young lady with a very nice picture she's drawn. So one day, I was walking, I was walking with my friend Cameron, and it was really sunny. Then all of a sudden, it started get, the clouds started getting amber gray. Then... The, it started drizzling rain, then sprinkling, then it started pouring rain, as like right here. And so we ran back to her house and we were really wet. Thank you, Layla. Very colorful. And as always, thanks to the good folks at Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather every night. Tomorrow night, we're going to have a young man here. He'll be uh, having an interesting question, as always, about weather. All right, let's take a look about the uh, take a look at the weather across the state for tomorrow. For the northern sections, partly cloudy at Barrow, just some high clouds for Nome and mostly sunny skies in Fort Yukon. In the interior, 
Probably the best weather in the state. Again, lots of sunshine everywhere you look. And temperatures, once again, uh, f fairly decent. 28 degrees at Fairbanks and 36 degrees at Healy. Over southeast Alaska, maybe some rain in the picture. But for the most part, it uh, looks like more sunshine is moving back into the, to the area there with 45 degrees for Ketchikan. Over the southwest part of the state, not too bad. In fact, uh, looking at uh, Cold Bay with mostly cloudy skies and uh, 41 degrees for their high there. 42 degrees at Kodiak and just partly cloudy skies there. And over the south central sections, it looks like for the most part, uh, nice weather over the Anchorage Bowl. Sunny skies in Anchorage and it's the same for Homer. Partly cloudy skies at Valdez. Taking a look at the numbers at the airport today, our high temperature, well, what do you think? 30 degrees, and uh, the overnight low last night, zero. The record high, 53. That was in 1938. The record low, 49 below, 1956. Sunrise and sunset, 10 hours and 12 minutes of daylight, a uh, gain of seven minutes from yesterday. And our forecast for tonight, once again, as we say, partly cloudy and cool, right around zero for the overnight low. And again, a chance of seeing some of those northern lights. And the forecast for tomorrow, we're looking at, for the most part, uh, another nice day. Lots of sunshine, 26 degrees, and uh, uh, the sunshine will be uh, just to uh, have a few clouds here and there. And the five-day outlook, you got to love it. Temperatures warming back up again by Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to the mid-20s. Overnight lows will be in the teens and then starting off at the teens and then dropping or warming back up again to the low teens, or I should say low single digits below zero uh, for Sunday and Monday. Our photograph tonight... Our Denali State Bank photograph, Fab Photo, is, was sent in by uh, uh, a young man that was on the Glen Highway and was able to capture this Glen Highway mountain. And again, thanks to uh, those folks. If you have a photograph, send a photograph to photos at ktvf11.com. And that will do it from the ice park. We're starting to get a little cool. We have lots of uh, families here tonight. They're enjoying the slides, and we always invite you to come out. And tomorrow night we'll have another interesting guest. But right now, back to you guys. Mike's always been cool. <laughs> That'll wrap up this edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. We are glad you could join us. Tonight on NBC Nightly News, the FBI and Apple Corporation faced off today at a congressional hearing on the locked iPhone. That's next with Lester Holt. You can join us here six days a week at 6 and 11 or online anytime at webcenter11.com. From all of us here at the News Center, have a great night.